I was invited to Maysville Primary probably about a year ago to see LBQ in action and straight from the minute I was in the classroom seeing it I could see how useful and effective the tool was not just for saving teachers time but also how useful it was for assessing children's learning in that moment and uh, I just couldn't wait to get back to class and use it straight away. I took it back to school and I gave it a go with some of the classes and just the immediate engagement and just how effective it was to support children with the learning. I mean, we were sort of focusing on maths to begin with and it was just great to see that overview as it was happening and be able to pick up on misconceptions and address those at the time, at that point of learning was amazing. And then I was trying to get teachers on board and coming to watch some of the sessions and then they just loved it as well and they've taken it on as well. What we have now is we've just got more and more teachers giving it a go, taking it on board and you know it, with any sort of new programme or technology bringing to the classroom it does take time but we are seeing that the teachers who give it a go are really enjoying it and it's, it's having a real impact on pupils learning. Um, I work part time at my school and the other part of the week I will travel the country doing CPD sessions for teachers on effective use of technology and LBQ has been something that I've been sharing now for the past year or so and I've been uh, demonstrating on different sessions and it's always had a real sort of positive um, reaction from the teachers and they can just see straight away how easy it can be to implement in their classroom and see that progression and that impact. I mean it is tough to be a teacher at the minute and there's lots of challenges and one of the biggest one I, I always on all my CPD sessions will ask the question what is it that stops you from using technology and the issue that comes out the most is time and so for me it's looking at ways technology can make our life easier and we can be more efficient in the job that we're doing and LBQ just ticks those boxes there. It's just a brilliant way of saving the time but also having that impact on the children's learning. At the BET conference with so many um, different products on, on, on show, for me Learning by Question stands out as, as I've used it and I've seen the impact and it's the only stand that I've said that I, you know, I'm happy to present and I'm, I'm going to endorse and you know, for me that integrity is so, so important with a lot of what I do online through social media. I want to make sure that I have that trust and that integrity and I'm not just sort of plugging anything that comes along and so Learning by Questions over the past year has been the one thing that stood out where I've said actually this is, this is impressive. So they won the Innovation Award at the BET Awards this year, which is such uh, an amazing achievement and a massive well done to the team for that. But I think it's recognising the hard work that goes in. And what I love about Learning by Questions is they really do listen to teachers. So, you know, any improvements, anything that teachers think could be, could be made better, you know, they will take that on board. And you can just see uh, every sort of few weeks more questions are being added and um, you know, when I started using it, it sort of was maths and now it's gone into English and science and so you know, who knows where it's going to be in another year, it could be the whole, hopefully it'll be the whole curriculum.